One of the disorders that I've treated um, along with my colleagues in the past is something called REM behavior disorder. So this is a situation where people actually act out their dreams. Um, pretty amazing, but yes, it's true. During REM sleep, your body is normally paralyzed so that you don't act out your dreams, but for some people, that mechanism isn't working for them. Also, we know that children have a tendency to sleepwalk. Almost 25% of kids sleepwalk, so a lot of times you can see kids doing some pretty funny things, but the big issue here is safety. Same with adults. You really want to be careful and make sure that little baby gates are up or that doors are locked because what you don't want to have happen is one of the things that happened to one of my patients, which was they would walk right out their front door in the, uh, in the middle of the night and fall asleep on their front lawn. Well, everybody thought it was kind of cute until one night he walked straight out of his front door and instead of falling asleep on his lawn, he actually took 10 steps further and fell asleep in the middle of the street. And the guy who was delivering the papers found him at about four o'clock in the morning because he almost ran him over. There is something called sleep-related eating disorder. This is kind of a serious situation where people wake up in the middle of the night and they go to the kitchen and they start to eat. Now, some people will eat something delicious like an entire chocolate cake, but more times than not, I have people and we find out about these cases because they end up in the ER because they eat things that you would never imagine eating like raw chicken or a bag of flour or cigarette butts out of an ashtray. And so, again, something that people People do in their sleep that you might not, you know, think could happen is this sleep-related eating disorder.